Now, the Joy News editorial this week is on the floods which keeps ravaging the country and claiming lives. Ara Kum Singh has the editorial this week. What's the worth of a Ghanaian life? My son, he is the only child I have. He's everything to me. I mean, I, I, I can't. I, 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 it's, it's too much. It's too much to bear this. I ask this very important question because any time it rains heavily in our beloved motherland, Ghanaians die. Even if it's just for two hours. And you know what? You don't need to be a doomsayer to predict that people will die. Just this month, 12 people have perished in just eight days after heavy rainfall. Fear, grips, and gnaws at the minds and hearts of Ghanaians living in flood prone areas anytime clouds gather. Now, the June 3rd fire and flood disaster that killed over 150 people should be a scar on our minds, but unfortunately, we have moved on so easily. It's convenient for citizens to blame authorities. But guess what? We are to blame too. Just look at this. This despicable attitude is killing us. How can right-thinking citizens do this? There might not be a lasting solution. The reason why I say that is we can we can we can put in all the all the technical infrastructure changes. We can we can do everything we want to do. Spend billions of dollars in restructuring our drains and everything. If the attitude of the Ghanaian citizen doesn't change, it all comes down to zero holding brief for citizens, but citizens are bound to act lawlessly. That's a major reason why we enact laws. So the only reason why we see people continue to exhibit this shameful habit is because our authorities are talking instead of acting. I think we are all fed up with people pouring their household garbage and rubbish into drains and gutters. If you are caught, jail will be your lot. So people should uh, desist from doing this. Madam Sanitation Minister, why are you still talking? Crack the whip and stop the threatening. Crack the whip and stop the threatening. Of course, we have sanitation courts. These courts ought to be prosecuting more offenders so that it sends a clear message that you will not get off easy if you decide to desecrate the environment. And oh, what happened to the sanitation brigades as announced by His Excellency, Nanado Dankwe Kufuado? Well, as a journalist, and I know I speak for many of my colleagues too when I say this, fatigue is setting in on reporting on flooding, filth, and deaths. It's getting tiring always reporting the same problems with no solutions in sight. Watch this. Now many parts of the national capital uh, today have been inundated as choke drains have made it difficult for rainwater to freely flow. This is not the first time Accra has been hit by floods and almost every year the story or the reasons being given for the floods are the same. The cycle of flood is here again and year by year major cities in the country get flooded. The reasons as always are the same. Lack of planning, pouring of waste into drains and a host of other human activities when will it ever stop it was the darkest and longest night ever in ghana's history a very tragic one indeed june 3 2015 will forever be imprinted in the memory of residents the 18th june evening flood has killed 10 persons according to natmo six died in accra one in the central region so once again what is the worth of a ghanaian life Shall we continue to die in floods because citizens care less and our governments also pretend to have our interests at heart? Will it be business as usual? Will we continue to be spectators? Or will we make a real effort to contribute to the change we want to see?